Smart office. I'm sure you've heard that term, but what exactly does it mean? Well, Huawei have a view of what the smart office experience is and it's tied in and linked to their concept of a super device. The super device concept is where you get multiple Huawei products that provide a seamless experience with a single system that's flexible to the user's needs. Previously, independent products such as a tablet, a laptop, or a screen now form part of a system, a cohesive system. This adds a swift and seamless switch between work and personal mode. I'm M. Kwan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you that smart office experience with the all new Huawei MatePad 12.6, the Huawei MateView, and the Huawei MateBook X Pro here on M. Kwan Reviews. So this is my super device setup. Before I talk to you about that, I just wanna show you some of the new stuff on my desk. Beginning with this, this is the brand new Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6. It is an incredibly nice tablet with that beautiful full view OLED display, a 90% screen to body ratio. And it's a great display in terms of interacting with media, but also with the display itself. And you'll notice it is incredibly thin. It's got a very, very thin profile throughout. And those speakers there are the Harman Kardon pro level sound quality speakers. Internally, it's powered by the Kirin 9000E chipset. We've got an updated uh, camera module as well. And software side, this is running Harmony OS 2.0. There are a bunch of tweaks to the visuals, including widgets. And I like some of the more practical side. So you can press and hold the folders to enlarge and also shrink it. it, makes it much more easier to use. Now you can also use this with the Huawei M Pencil as well, which is easy to connect. And then you've got the smart magnetic keyboard, which is this case that also doubles up as a keyboard, gives you much more functionality from the Huawei MatePad Pro. So this in the middle is the Huawei MateView, the new Huawei MateView. And while I'm waiting for this to turn on, I'm just gonna turn this around to give you a look at the hardware. Huawei have done incredibly well, and you can understand why this is their flagship display. It's got this really nice industrial, but also premium look and feel to it. This is the display element over here, and then you've got some uh, maneuverability over here. You can tilt it up and down with this middle part here, which is finished off in this really nice chrome. And then you've got the stand part over here. And then at the bottom, pretty much all of the ports that you would possibly need, including HDMI, USB, USB-C. There's even a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Now, if I turn it around, you'll be able to see at the bottom of the stand, you've got really immersive speakers. Now, as far as the display is concerned, it's a 28.2 inch 4K uh, display. It's real color display that works very, very nice. And I love how it's finished off in this matte finishing. I've got obviously the sunlight coming through in my home office here. And this matte finishing certainly helps to, to see what you're looking at, particularly at midday. The display has an interesting three by two aspect ratio. So that means you can get quite a lot of in here when you are using the display. It also supports wireless projection. And right at the bottom, I don't know if you can see here, there's actually a touch bar and the touch bar allows you to interact with the display. So coming back to that smart office experience, I think it goes without saying that whether we're working from home or returning back to the office, most of us want to make the most out of productivity and our time. Well, I'm gonna show you now practically how that super device concept works. So in this first scenario where we're using the Huawei Mate View and we've connected it to both the Huawei Mate Pad and the Huawei MateBook X Pro. The benefits here is that you have a larger screen with great sound, as well as the comfort of using a wireless keyboard and mouse. And then it's easy to switch between the connected devices. So imagine you've been working on your laptop for a while, you just want a bit of a break and chill and I don't know, catch up with some vlogs. All you need to do is use two fingers to tap once at the smart bulb, and then you'll be able to switch over to that particular view. And uh, you can also go backwards again. So you'll be able to switch between the Huawei MatePad uh, Pro and when you wanna go back to the Huawei MateBook X Pro, you can do that really easily and very seamlessly as well. Now, another situation, I'm in the middle of watching this vlog and I've just remembered that I need to do some research on some vintage dials so I can open up a to-do list within the Huawei uh, MatePad Pro and use a keyboard and type in the information so that I remember to do that later on and then I can get back to watching that vlog. 
Now, another scenario might be this where you have both the Huawei MateBook X Pro and the Huawei MatePad Pro 12.6. So these two combined will also give you the ability to use them as a super device. And here there are a couple of different options that you can go with. Now for this, you have multi-screen collaboration, which gives you the added benefits of the functionality of having both of these devices. And the first one is mirror mode, where you can replicate what's on the MateBook X Pro screen and essentially use the MatePad Pro to directly make notes or you know illustrate whatever else might be required. Now I need to put in a, an idea for a thumbnail, so I'm gonna use the Huawei M Pencil, second generation to do this. It makes it really easy and allows me to make notes on what I'm currently working on. Now another scenario here is where you can use the extend mode. And this is gonna be great when you want to essentially extend the display for your MateBook X Pro so you have extra screen real estate. And a scenario here might be, I might be doing some editing or going through some pictures and I need a larger screen so that I'm able to perhaps choose something else and then drag and drop it here into what I'm working on. This works great when you're doing video editing, a whole range of other editing elements here that can make use of the extend mode. Finally, we have the collaborate mode. And this is great because if you're working on multiple devices and let's say I need to use an image from one to the other, I don't need to try and find a USB thumb drive or upload to the cloud. I can simply drag as I'm doing now with this image over from my MateBook X Pro to the Note app, which is what I'm using on the MatePad Pro, really simply, very easily. And it saves you a lot of hassle trying to find another alternative way of working between the two devices. I think in many ways, this summarizes the super device concept of smart office user experience where you know you can be doing some productivity whether through emails or apps and then you take a quick break to watch a video in your lunch hour or whatever else the advantages of this new smart office user experience is that you're able to easily swap between wireless and wired connections you know you're able to benefit from screen sharing cross device file dragging and dropping and using the isolated devices but together as well in this system it makes it easy to switch between work mode and personal mode. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, the Huawei MatePad Pro, which is what I've shown in this video, will be available in olive green and a matte gray colorway. And the price of this will start at 3,399 dirhams. Now you're able to pre-order these between the 29th of July through to the 4th of August, and you get a chance to get some gifts with this. And the Huawei Mate View will be priced at 2,999 dirhams. Again, the pre-orders will be 29th of July to the 4th of August with some gifts included. Let me know your thoughts both on the super device concept the smart office concept as well as this overall video in the comment section down below and if you've enjoyed this then do check out this other video over here i'll see you over there next